This is a review of the mean, median, mode and range and what they're used for. So the other day my classes were on Manga High and I've recorded for quite a small class how many medals each student got. So this student didn't get any, this student got three. Mean, median and mode are what we call measures of center. That is, where is the middle of the data? What is normal? And there are three different ways of saying, well, this was pretty normal for this group. So a reminder, the mean is the average. But we use average in a lot of different ways. Like, oh, that was pretty average. Or, yeah, they're an average person. And so the mean is saying exactly what we want to do is add all the scores up and divide by how many there are. Whereas sometimes people use average to mean any one of these. And so it can get a little bit confusing. So mean is the total of all the scores. divided by the number of scores. And this is saying, look, let's add up all the scores and see how many each person would have got if we shared them out evenly. So, we better count how many scores we have. 12 scores. So my mean will be whatever the total is divided by 12. And we better add that up. 7, 10, 13, 16, 19, 26. So my class all up got 26 medals and there were 12 students in the class. And 26 divided by 12, 2.1666. So let's make that 2.2. .2. And that was medals. So we say 2.2 medals was average, was the mean. So this person was above average and these people here were below average. The median is the middle score when all the scores are in order. And to get the median, that means that we have to put all my data in order. So we start with the smallest. And it can be a good idea to check those off as we do them. Two people got two, I think. Yes. One, two, three people got three. Oh, look, I missed a two. Ah, got to be very, very careful. Three people got three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And a four. And a five. Now, it's a really good idea to check. I know there should be 12 scores. Double check that you've got 12. One, two, three, four, five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes, we do. Now, when it's an even number of people, finding the median means I actually have to find the average of the two middle scores. Because if we count in, one, two, three, four, five, the median is between those two. Now, if they're both the same, that's easy. I can say the median equals 2 because the average of 2 and 2 is 2 but if these were really different if those had been 2 and 3 like I thought it was then you'd add them together 2 plus 3 equals well that's 5 and divide by 2 so you'd find the average if that had been 3 this would be 2.5 as the median so your median is the middle score if it's an odd number of scores or the average of your two middle scores, if it's an even number of scores. The mode 
is the most frequent score? The score that happens most often. Now three people got two and three people got three. So this means my data is bimodal. That means there's two modes and the mode is two and three. So if there's a score that ties for first, for most frequent, we count them both. So those are my three ways of saying, hey, this is normal. So the average, the mean, says 2.2 metals is pretty normal. The median says 2 is pretty normal. And the mode, 2 or 3, pretty normal. And that looks about right for this class. 2 or 3 metals is pretty normal. Now the range isn't looking at how normal, the, or what is normal. The range is looking at how spread out the data is. And the range is the top score or the largest score minus the bottom score or the smallest score. And so just like we've got to show working for the mean, show working, we also have to show working for the range. And so that is range equals top score was 5, bottom score was 0, so my range is 5. And that's just saying there were 5 medals between the top person and the bottom person, so that tells me how spread out my class was. If I had another class and I was comparing it, and the range was 10, I'd know that class was even more spread out in their results. So, you'll see we absolutely have to put our data in order for the median. And when it's in order, that's really useful for getting the mode and the range as well. That is the mean, median, mode, and range.